Hi, I'm Nico, and welcome to an all new episode. As some of you may already know, I've just moved to China's capital city, the ethically large Beijing. I want you to come with me to explore some of Beijing's best sites, both well known and underground. So let's kick off this series of the best of Beijing by exploring Beijing's best parks. First up is Beihai Park. Now, Beihai Park is about as central as you can get in Beijing, and is mainly made up of a big lake with an island in the middle. The day that we went, the weather was not so great, but on a summer's day, you'll see boats pinging all around the lake. I recommend a walk up the steep steps to the iconic White Dome for some amazing views of the city. Much next door to Beihai Park is the smaller but no less stunning Jingshan Park. If you spent the day exploring Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden Sea, then this is the perfect place to end it. The lower area of the park has some amazing gardens, and if you climb up to the temple on the top of the hill, it's one of the highest points of Beijing. You'll be rewarded with amazing views of the Forbidden Sea and the surrounding area. This is the place to come for sunset and has quickly become one of Beijing's best Instagram spots. Beware though, you might not be the only photographer jostling for a position. Both Beihai Park and Jingshan Park can get a little busy with tourists. So if you're after a place with a more local flavor, then I recommend a trip to the Temple of Earth Park, which is just a few miles away. This isn't a park that is wonderfully green and the temple is no longer in use but it's the perfect place to come to mingle with laid back locals. People flock here to practice their dance moves, belt out old revolutionary songs, and limber up in the outdoor gym. The entrance is only two RMB, and it's right opposite the Lama Temple, so it makes a refreshing antidote after a tiring day of touristic sightseeing. Further east is Chaoyang Park, which takes its name from the trendy district in which it's located. This park is one of the largest in Beijing, and you could easily spend the day here. You could rent a boat, you could play some sport, or you could just chill out. There's even an amusement park in which you can while away the hours. After a day spent soaking up the sun, head into Sanlatan for a refreshing craft beer and burger, and rub shoulders with the many expats that call Beijing home. If you become a bit jaded from big city life, then head out to Olympic Park, which is in the north of the city. This green space is one of the amazing legacies of the 2008 Games, and a day trip here feels like a proper excursion. It's also worth taking a trip next door to the iconic Bird's Nest Stadium, one of the most recognizable Olympic venues of all time. The most daring among you can even take a walk on the roof, but we'll save that for a future episode. So there you go, Beijing's best parks. There's so many different parks to choose from in the city, so leave me a comment telling me your favorite. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know if there's any Beijing related topics you want me to cover in future episodes. See you next time.